Come to Denver. Um, well, I just got out of a relationship, and I was living on my own, and... And I had just moved out. To or, Portland. I had just moved to Portland. And I was just kind of stuck, like, working those two jobs as a cocktail waitress at Mix and at Grateful Greens, and I did housekeeping, and I could barely make rent, so I was just kind of stuck. Like, I couldn't really afford to look for another job, because I was working all the time. Mm. Uh, but I couldn't really afford to live, so then mom just gave me that opportunity to move in with her into Aurora, and then live there rent-free until I was able to get on my feet and get a job, and got a job, and got back on my feet, so I had my own apartment. Um, where did you get that job? Uh, Miller International, which is the company that owns a numerous rodeo and western clothes so we do like cinch jeans which is kind of the rival to wrangler jeans and then cruel denim then we have the kids and southern thread and miller ranch and what did you get hired on as just a graphic design assistant assistant yeah and it was it was part-time it was yeah sort of part-time and it's gone to full-time and then in march i'll be getting a Hopefully, hopefully a promotion to salary. Uh, why are you getting this promotion? Like, what extra shit have you taken on? Well, we have a few secret projects. That she can't talk about. That I can't talk about because they're not public publicly released yet. But I've taken on some more responsibilities in that area. Okay. Not Sweet. Not public yet. All right, cool. <laughs> I'm sorry. No, I, I didn't mean to pressure push that that's cool um so you don't really paint right now no i've been in a little bit of a rut for about a year but I mean, that's okay uh people take breaks yeah I, I picked up journaling for a little while after i moved in here and then i started reading some more and now i'm, I'm crocheting and crocheting yeah all right so what got you into crocheting um, actually, it was the day that we found out that, uh, uh, Sam Sargent passed away. I was kind of upset about it, and I stayed home, and my roommate Kayla stayed home as well, and we decided to go to the craft store and get some yarn and just teach ourselves, and just to kind of take our... You both taught yourself at the same time? Yeah, we both started at the same time. Really? She's made, like, three things, and I made a coaster. One... One really coaster. Really fucking cool coaster. I like the coaster, but it's only one. Look at that. Uh, art, artisanally made. <laughs> I didn't do hardly anything. I just braided yarn. Um, I really like it. Thank you. So, what what difficulties have you come across in crocheting? Um. What are you doing right now? I'm taking <laughs> the scarf apart because. <coughs> When you start a project, you're kind of supposed to know, like, the length and dimensions of what you want, and <laughs> I don't do that. <laughs> I just do what I feel is right, and sometimes what I feel is right is not right, and I end up How many times it. has it been right? <laughs> Once. <laughs> 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 so... Yeah, so I'm... So what I told her earlier is, so the lesson we've learned here is... And what <laughs> did you start, say? I don't remember. You were so, some smart-ass comment to me. <laughs> like, well, I, because it doesn't fucking... I don't know. It was really funny. I think the lesson I learned is just to finish making it and then sell it on Etsy and say it's like a European design. European design. <laughs> Nobody. Now you're giving your your secrets away before you do it. They're not gonna. You know, you're it. not gonna know my name. Like they're so not gonna. Know. This is Brittany. Wolf. Oh, I don't care about that. You're not gonna know. Brittany. The name of my store. Oh, oh. shit. Okay. Um. What do you? When are you gonna move to Portland? <laughs> That's what I want to know. <laughs> This is my best friend, and being a, uh, away from her is weird. 
Uh, it's, it's like being away from a twin, but we're not twins. Thank God. We look alike. We look like our mother. We both look like our mother, which means we kind of, we look a lot alike. Look at the hair. It's like the Mine's same, darker. like, I don't, it's a little bit darker. Mine can, like, dyed it. Did you dye it? <laughs> yeah. So it doesn't count. <laughs> you can't use <laughs> Don't wave that into my face. That weird. <laughs> I don't know what that did. It's just falling <laughs> apart. <laughs> Get your yard weeder away from me. It's falling apart. Sorry, I gotta keep doing this now. It's fine. Oh. Uh, it's like um, press and roll. So why, why is uh, Kayla doing better at this than you are? Does she spend more time on it? Yeah. Does she care more about it? She doesn't care more about it. No. What kind of questions that? I don't know. <laughs> is, I'm asking, is she like really into it? Is she like yeah, always yeah. doing yeah, it? Yeah, she she uh, <laughs> she does it at work when they are slow, and then she yeah she just spends more time on it. I mean I get annoyed. Yeah. Really easily. Just why I only have one coaster. So you're gonna make more coasters? Yeah. I'm she gave on. this to me. This is the first coaster. If she becomes a millionaire through crocheting, if these are like collector's items someday, I get the first one. Um just so you know. I mean, she could become famous for her graphic design in like 15, 20 years, she could be a fucking famous graphic designer and I could have her very first crocheting thing. I just want to move. Who knows? I just want to move to like a small liberal town out in the middle like of Portland? nowhere. No. What about outside of Portland? Possibly. P possibly? <laughs> Sometimes I pick up accents. <laughs> That's a Nebraska accent. <laughs> you didn't pick that up. We were born with it. But somewhere where I can, like, not feel bad for not going out all the time. Just, like, it's not that I feel bad. I just want to be alone. I hate people. I want to be in my little cottage with my dogs and, like, squirrels and rabbits. We haven't talked about your dogs yet. They're sleeping. Autumn. Come here, baby. Wake up. Come here. Wake up. All right. We oh, wanna, we want We want to talk to Autumn. And, actually, you are a big part of rescuing puppies, aren't you? Then I'm not what a, did you do on Thanksgiving? I'm not a big part. I'm that, just, I, I just try to help out once in a while. But, uh, I, there was a dog, a dachshund, that was found on the side of the road in California. And it couldn't use its back legs, and it was all bloody and wounded. And this lady took him in and uh, contacted Huskers Hope Docks and Rescue in Beaver Crossing, Nebraska. And that's, uh, Carla works there and she handles, she works with a lot of disabled dachshunds. And um, so that's where the dog Zach needed to go. So we worked with this uh, little organization called Pilots in Paws, or Pilots for Paws. Uh, they fly planes with rescue dogs to transport those dogs where they need to go. So from California, this dog Zach made his way all the way up in, to Grand Junction, Colorado. And then one of the uh, pilots there decided to drive to Denver and I met up with him and then I drove to Beaver Crossing and delivered the dog to the rescue. And it's gonna get a cart soon. And he's just he's gonna get a cart? Yeah, he's so cute. Dachshunds on carts are adorable. <laughs> I know. Yeah, he was, can't a, help he was it. a sweetie. It's a sad but adorable state. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I help out with the rescue that our mom runs, which is the the sister rescue of Huskers Hope. And we're called Grandma's Home for Wayward Weenies. I didn't make it up. My mom probably made that up. Yeah, it's adorable. My mom and her fiancé. So... Um, my mom, I'm hoping that we will get an interview with my mother. I'm, I'm hoping we that... We should get her drunk. 
<laughs> She's that, so funny. <laughs> you just I need, don't like, think we'll be that lucky. You just need one What does beer. she drink? She drinks anything fruity and sometimes Dude, she might Dude, she drink likes like beer. strawberry wine coolers. She's not going to watch this. I'm not worried about it. She likes strawberry <laughs> wine coolers. She might watch it because I'm in it. We're going to get you drunk, Mom. I hope you watch this. I'm not driving you. I home, hope though. you're watching this. We're gonna I'm just bu- we're gonna buy you some strawberry. It's not even like we're gonna take her out. We're fuck. Maybe she can crash here on your fucking blue spitty couch cool chair. chair. God, you don't have a couch. I know. I know. I'm sorry. I'm sleeping on your floor and it's not comfortable. That floor is really comfortable. I've fallen asleep on it so many times. And you know how many people have told me it's comfortable? My shoulders all fucked up. I'm complaining like an old man, but Well, I don't have you like... tried to like yes. push stuff together? I sure did. Really? And I tried to sleep on your bed if and you, the dogs you not sleep? didn't let me sleep. If you just if you just, just lay at me. if you just lay down with And that. then Autumn stared at me. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't sleep because you're Autumn. This is Autumn. You stared at me. She just got a haircut. And she smells really good. And then she had diarrhea the past two days all over my apartment. And that was not fun. So she got a bath, which is why yeah, she smells good. She, no, the bath is from earlier. I just washed her butt. That's all she had poop on. Oh, well. Yeah, only poop on the butt. She smells good either way. Yeah, and she smells so How old is Autumn? She is like seven years old. And she was a rescue? She kind of, sort of. She was a breeding dog, and they put her on Craigslist for like 50 bucks. And mom picked her up, and then I bonded with her, and I got her. You are she wasn't in a very good state, though. No, she was really scared. And what do they call the the places? Like, she was a breeding dog with a... Uh, puppy mill? A puppy mill. I don't know if she was from a puppy mill. I okay. think it was just a private I thought breeder. she was a, a puppy mill dog. I don't know if she was or not. I'm sure, it was on Craigslist, so I'm sure it probably was a puppy okay. mill. Um, I don't know, I guess. What about... Daisy wasn't a... No, a Daisy, Daisy was a pet store. Before, that before, was before we were knowledgeable about anti-pet stores. Yeah. And, like, rescue your pets, man. <laughs> 